There's an update on a historic flight around the world powered entirely by the sun. Overnight, the Solar Impulse 2 finished its journey across the Pacific Ocean, flying from Hawaii to California's Silicon Valley. And the trip isn't over. Here's Chris Martinez. Wonderful. After 62 hours in the air nonstop, the Solar Impulse 2 passed over the Golden Gate Bridge before gently gliding back to Earth. Lone pilot Bertrand Picard described his experience to us just hours before touching down. The view is absolutely gorgeous. The experimental aircraft runs entirely on solar power. The wings, which stretch wider than a Boeing 747, are covered with 17,000 solar cells. They constantly recharge the plane's batteries, allowing it to travel up to 60 miles per hour during the day, holding enough charge to continue to fly at night. We want to show that clean technologies can achieve the impossible, that we can fly longer without fuel than with fuel. The Solar Impulse 2 began its journey just over a year ago, first taking off in Abu Dhabi. It's now made nine separate flights in an attempt to circle the globe. But there have been complications along the way. After landing in Hawaii last summer, the aircraft was grounded for nearly 10 months because of heat damage to the battery system. The plane finally took to the skies again last week, prompting a call to the cockpit on Earth Day from the headquarters of the United Nations. You look like an asteroid in the moon. What you are doing today in New York, signing the Paris Climate Agreement, is more than protecting the environment. It is the launch of the clean technology revolution. From California, the plane will head to New York before attempting to cross the Atlantic and finally complete its voyage. The adventure continues. The story is not finished, huh? <laughs> A story that could one day change the way we fly. Chris Martinez, CBS News, Los Angeles.